Hello, I'm Aidan Hyde of Aidan Hyde Photography and today I'm going to do a very, very quick demonstration on how to record an action and then we're going to create a droplet to automate that process. Now as it's just a quick demonstration purpose, all I'm going to do is to reduce the size of a file and then I'm going to um, put it onto an external disk and also onto the desktop. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is uh, in here is our files that we want to um, produce. So I'm just going to move those to there. In here we've got a scratch master, and this is going to be where the first oops, wrong area. It's where the first new folder destination folder is going to be. So I'm going to press CTR new folder, and we are just going to call these D the demo um Resized files, and I'm going to make that. Oops, actually, let's make an action so I can just find it easy. I'll make that yellow. Okay, so that's going to be the final destination where the resized one's going to be off on an external hard drive, just to show you that it's possible to run an action and have that so on the desktop now new folder I'm going to say desktop resize files okay so what we're going to do there so we're going to in a minute after we created it the droplet is going to go in here so just pick the folder up, drop it on the droplet. Right, let's go into Photoshop, Photoshop bunk. And here we are in button mode. So we're to take it out of button mode. And we need to go and get a file from the, the place where we need to get it from. So it's on the desktop. It's in a demo folder. I will just take this one. I'll take this one. Just open it up. So what we're going to do is resize this and then take it to another place. Um, yeah. So here we go. Then. So first of all, we need to make a new set. So this is a new set here. We're just going to call this demo. Demo. Good. And on that demo, it's put it here and now in me to make a new action set. So it's going to be called resize. Resize. Z -E. Z -E. Resize. In a set of demo, we can put it in any of these here, but we're going to put it in demo. Now I'm going to make it red. This will come apparent later on. You can choose any colour, but it's just, you, you see when it goes back into button mode that you can choose any colour. I'm just going to choose red. And we're going to record the action. So whatever keystrokes I do now, the action will be recorded. So here is the record mode. I'm going to go up to here. We're going to go image image size and we're just going to make this 72 72 oops, 72 and we make the that's already reduced it down nicely so just going to press OK that's made that and now we're going to save it in the two different locations to make it easier just for demonstration purposes, for us to see that the action has done what it's 
needs to do. I'm also just going to run a black and white on this. Um, let's, go, let's go down to black and white. They are just going to run a black and white so we can see that it is done that and this has also been preserved. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to save this now. We're going to go to File, Save As. And we're going to save it as a JPEG, JPEG, but we're going to put it on the Scratch Master, which is an external disk, and we're going to put it in this size, the resize, demo resized. So, okay, save. Okay, that. And then we are going to do the same, but we're going to do it on the desktop. So, file. File, file, <coughs> save as, <coughs> excuse me, on the desktop in the desktop resize files. We want it to be a JPEG. Oops, JPEG. And then we're going to save that. Save that. So that's saved in two different places. And then we're going to close it. Don't save. I don't want it saved. Then that should be. Don't want it to disappear. Then we're just going to press stop. So very very quickly, if I just reduce this, minimise this, a folder will be in here, which it is. Let's just check the size of this. I have to open up. No, we won't close it. Out. So we're going to do close that. Go to the Scratch Master, yellow bit, and boom. Okay. Go back into Photoshop. And now we're going to put this in button mode. Resize. This is the one that we've just done. So whenever I press that button, it's going to, whatever image is loaded, it will just run that action. So we're gonna we'll just do that now, shall we? So here we have file, we're just gonna open up the same image on the desktop. Doesn't matter which one we open up, open up. So if I just press this button now, it will do everything and close it. Because that's what I've asked it to do. And on here, it's there. Which is good, it's been black and white, and so it's done the action. And then in the scratch disk, scratch master, it's done it. So that works, and we know it's going to work. But we've got four, we've got four files that we want to do, want to process in it. You can open it all up individually, and then press the button and that will work but there is a better way you can automate this so if we go to Photoshop we go to automate so file automate then we go to create droplet now these are very very important now the set is in demo the last one we ran and there's only one in the demo which is resize now we need this ticked include all subfolders suppress file options dialogs you need these all ticks and suppress color profile warnings if you don't click those if there's any warnings it won't carry on and the whole idea of this is that you can just pick up that file and drop it, walk away from it, and it will do it. And because the destination and um, create drop at destination here, we've written the save action where the destinations are with this particular demo in in the action itself. So we're just going to put none on that. And this is save droplet in, and I want it on the desktop so we can just find it. So just press desktop app. Save 
and that will then put the little droplet on the desktop so let's press OK then we're going to close this because we're going to be really really brave there's the demo folder there so you're going to bring this over to here now we have a workflow so this is the exciting bit now Let's see if it's going to work so uh, pick this up drop it on and those four files in there will now open up get saved they'll be converted to black and white and then I will open one of the files up at the end just to show you it's been resized to 72 pics I think that's been done that's done already so desktop resize the four are there so if I open this up in Photoshop now this Photoshop's there just drag that over to Photoshop open that up Boom. And then if I go into image size, should be 72. Okay. And if I open up the original one, which is file open, be nice. Um, demo folder, I think it was this, this one here. If I open this one up and look at the image size, open image, you will see it's much, much bigger. So, file, oops, image size, 300 is much, much bigger than this one, which is a black and white one. Image, oops, it's done it, no. Okay, it's not going to do that how I wanted it, but you can see that that is correct. So that's that on the desktop, and now we go to the Scratch Master. Nice, it's in here. Resize file, they're all there, and we can pick up any one of these. We haven't seen this one, so I'm going to just open this in. Photoshop. Let me show you the image, the size, and it's 72 dpi. You just have to take my word for it. Okay, let's open up just to prove it to you that if I move that there. So, uh, oops. Open up, I can't open anything else. I just press OK and then the file open desktop demo folder. I think it is that one. Yes, that one. Open image. And this one here, the image, image size, and you see it's 300 and it's rather large. So, so I'm going to leave that there now. I hope you got something out of that. So, until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.